Hey, what is up everybody? This is Rob. It's time for another product overview, review, and install. So you guys have heard me talk about this before, guys, all right? Catalytic converter theft, it is a problem, especially if you have something like the Tacoma where it's higher off the ground, easier for a thief to get under. Now, in the past, I had talked about Miller Cat's awesome Catalytic converter covers. You know, it's a great way to help stop theft. I do have the aluminum cat shield on my own Tacoma. And I have also installed their 16 gauge steel one on a 4Runner. So what if I told you that MillerCat went one step up to help really make sure that your catalytic converter is safe? Now remember guys, I do think that catalytic converter theft, it's a really bad thing. And I do think that a big part of preventing it is by having a visual deterrence. That is why I just have the aluminum shield on mine. However, of course you do have the thing of what if they do decide to try something with your tools to you know, try to get at your catalytic converter. Well, that's why MillerCat made this. Let me grab this. This is their new HD heavy duty 12 gauge steel Miller Cat converter shield. This is awesome guys. This thing, it is much thicker, you know, 12 gauge steel. So it is thicker than the 16. Looks really good, nice and heavy and solid guys. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna install this on a Tacoma. And of course guys, I always wanna hook you guys up. So if you do want one of these or any of the products on Miller Cat's website, it can be the aluminum cat shield, whichever you want, do use the coupon code Rob's Autos for a discount, guys. All right. So once again, that is Rob's Autos for a discount, guys. So go ahead and check that out as well. So now let's go ahead and let's go and see what we get in the box when we order this from Miller Cat. All right, guys. So let's see what you get when you buy the Miller Cat Heavy Duty Cat Shield. Remember, guys, this is for the third generation Tacoma. So first off, you will see the actual main plate. So this looks really nice, guys. So I really love how Miller Cat has these vents here. What do these vents do? They help dissipate the heat because your catalytic converter gets hot. So this will help, you know, to not keep all that heat trapped in there. So as I'm lifting it, I can already feel the heft of it compared to, for example, the aluminum one that I have on mine. If you remember, guys, this is 12 gauge steel. So that is thicker than the 16 gauge steel one that you had seen me install on a 4Runner in the past. Now, do I think that the 16 gauge shield or even my aluminum cat shield aren't going to be good anymore? Of course not, guys. For me, I still think visual deterrence is a big part of deterrence and they still do the job. Of course, the nice thing with the 12 gauge is if the thief still decides they want to try to get at the catalytic converter, they get to deal with this nice thick 12 gauge shield. Now, if you want to know how thick it is, I will go ahead and I will put the measurements up right now. And as you can see, it's really, really solid, guys. I really enjoy this. I do like how they always put the Miller Cat logo on there, etched on there. There we go. Should be able to see that with the glare. So I'm going to turn this around really quick. So you can see the underside and also so that we can get on with the other stuff that we get. So I can show you guys how it all goes together. So first off, remember here we are at the underside. So you also do, of course, get these side pieces. So as you can see, the side pieces are also etched with the Miller Cat logo right there. So essentially the way they will go is, let me give you one second, let me order them myself. So one and two. So essentially it's going to box it in. How it boxes in, it makes it hard to cover it. Something I also really like is the way that the cat cover goes on it you can still see the color converter. So if you have any visual inspections, we'll still be able to see it. You'll see that more when we actually get it installed. So now that we have these pieces, what else do they give us? Well, let's, let me go ahead and grab the bag. So the manual is in here. Let's see, and then this bag opened up. So let me just empty this out right here. So this plate is actually for the back area. So you'll see that later when I go ahead and install it. They do also give you some thread locker, which is actually really nice of them. Uh, you know, it's always cool to have some. And then the main thing, and this is one of my favorite parts about Miller Cat, no extra charge. They give you the security screws and the bits. So let me go ahead and I'm going to get a little bit closer to show you guys what I mean. So you see that security screw. And then they also give you the bit. So you put them together. And bam, look at that. So it is really nice of them. Some people do always say, well, what if they just unscrew it? Well, this is gonna make it a bit harder for them. 
No driver's safe, they're not going to have all the security screw, screw attachments, so this is a good thing. So this is it guys, we're going to go ahead and install this. And do remember, of course guys, I always want to hook you guys up. If you guys like what you see here, or any of the cat shields on Miller Cat's website, doesn't matter if it's for Tacoma or what, doesn't matter if it's the 12 gauge, 16 gauge steel or aluminum. Remember guys, I do have that coupon code, Rob's Autos for a discount guys, so go ahead and use that. Remember guys, that is Rob's Autos for a discount. So now, without any further wait, let's go ahead and let's install it. All right, you guys, so first things first, we will be assembling this part of the cat shield before we go underneath the Tacoma. So first, we will be putting on the sides. So we will be using the small screws that they give. No washer needed yet. And then of course, we'll be using the security bit, which we do have on a drill. So we'll go ahead and let's do this side first. So just put it right on top. And I'm just going to hand screw it first. So it's good to do it by hand before you bring out tools. So just get that in there. That one there. All right, so after our hand tighten in there, I'm just going to go in. Let's go ahead and let's drill this. Now we'll do the other side. All right guys, I'm just gonna be, do the other side. So once again guys, I prefer to do it by hand first, so I'm not having to fidget with it with the drill there. And four, and I do apologize, I did miss one. So we're gonna go on to this side, back to this side real quick. So there is a fifth one on one side. So let me just get that in there. So now let me get the drill. And just like I did to the other side, we're gonna go ahead and tighten these down. And then just for good measure, let me get that one that I missed earlier. And there we go, shield is now ready. Now for the fun part, we're gonna go underneath the truck and get it all installed. All right, you guys, so we're here underneath the Tacoma. So here's the thing, this is gonna be done on both sides. I'll show you guys how we do one side. So this cross member, we're gonna have to undo some bolts. Basically, it's gonna be sharing some screw space with the cat shield. So we're gonna be reusing the holes, but we are gonna be switching out the bolts with the security bolts just to make it a little bit harder. Now, what you can do is, for you see you have the front and the back of the cross member, you could switch out one bolt of each with the Miller Cat security bolt. You can do that if you want, just for the sake of the install. We're gonna do just the back one because this is really the only one that you need to take out because this is what the Miller Cat will be sharing some space with. So. Remember guys, the outer one doesn't need to be done unless you want some extra security, but you do have to do the inner. So we're just gonna undo that with the impact. And that's two. So this is definitely enough space to slip the cat shield in between. So remember guys, do this on your side as well. And also take note, I'm actually entered the Tacoma without uh, needing to jack it up the Tacoma is high enough for me. For you, it might not be, but for me it is, which is really convenient. So now on to the next step. All right, you guys, so now we're here underneath the Tacoma. So as you can see, I did have to loosen up the outer crossbar, even though I said you didn't have to. I loosened it up just to make it easier to slip the cat shield under. You will notice the cat shield, I do have it on jack stands. Now I was able to do the aluminum one by myself, but steel is a lot heavier than aluminum. So that's why I had to use a jack stand to help me out. So now what we're gonna do is, like I said, you see this crossbar? We're gonna use one security bolt and one normal bolt. And we're gonna get that back in with it also holding up the cat shield. So we'll have to maneuver this around a little bit. Just make sure that all works in. So there's one. So let me go ahead and tighten that one in. And there we go. So then we'll also go ahead and let me grab one of these security bolts. 
and also the washer that we'll be using with the security bolts. So hand get that in there, switch off, put the security bit on there. There you go. Now that's in here nice and tight, and we're gonna go ahead and retighten up the outer as well. You're, gonna just, you're just gonna do that on both sides actually. And then we'll go on to the actual only complicated part, which is getting the upper middle. So we'll go on to that in a second. All right, you guys, so here's the one part that's a little bit tricky. So you see this plate right here. So this plate is gonna go above the cross member that's right here. So what's gonna happen is, make you see this flat side of it? See how one side it's rounded, the other side is flat. Flat side goes towards the passenger side, so it's gonna be this way. And flat side goes on the cross member. So this side is facing up, this part with the raised threads. So I'm just gonna slip that right on top of the cross member. Now here is the annoyance, all right guys? So it's right on top of the cross member and we're gonna take the long bolt and we have to get that through this hole and get it through the hole on the other side of the cross member to the plate. And that's how it's gonna secure it. So let me see if I could get it in. Gotta feel around a little bit there, you guys. Yeah, this is the only part of it that gets a little bit challenging. No, not yet. So what I recommend doing is get it through the holes on the cross member first and then just kind of slide the plate over. And there we go. So I just got one in right now. So let me get the second one in. Usually after you get one, it gets a lot easier. Actually, I'm gonna do the outside. There you go, so all three are in. So now let me just go ahead and screw these ones in. Grab this bolt. Let me just off camera, put the bolt back in. Make sure I'm saying the bolt, I mean the bit. Ah, it's kind of tight under here. All right, I'm gonna get them. All right, now we do the bang test. Solid, guys. This thing is attached really well. So now let me get out of underneath the Tacoma and let's see how it looks. All right, you guys, so there you have it. The installation of the new Miller Cat Heavy Duty Cali Converter Shield on a 2023 Tacoma. Now, a question that I got asked quite a bit on my original video was if this, like, uh, basically if it impedes anything when you're wanting to do an oil change. It does not, guys. It does not go up that far. You can still be doing an oil change just fine with the shield there. You don't have to uninstall it every time for that, all right? You are good with that. Now, Miller Cat, they always do make great products, guys. Remember, I also did do the install on a 4Runner as well, so go check that out also if you have a 4Runner. And of course, you know, make sure to use my coupon code, right? So Rob's Autos, guys, remember, use my discount code Rob's Autos for a discount on Miller Cat's website. They have a wide variety of products for a wide variety of vehicles, so go ahead and check them out. And remember though, this one though was the 12 gauge steel. While I do love visual deterrence, it is kind of nice having a 12 gauge steel just in case you try to get a little bit more physical with it. It does look really good though, as you can see from underneath. You know, looks solid. Love the Miller Cat logo I send there on the sides. Definitely a quality product, guys. So with that, guys, we'll call it from there. This is Rob, and have a good one.